I think what we also want to stress about Kelvin Hall, um, we think it's transformational for the National Library um, in terms of bringing these unique collections together in one place. Um, so not only is, is the National Library transforming Kelvin Hall, but Kelvin Hall is transforming the National Library by enabling us to bring collections together for the first time in the west of Scotland. I think it's a brilliant use for the building. Obviously you had the Transport Museum that was here previously um, and also the Kelvin Hall's history with the carnivals and the fairs and the trade exhibitions. And I think it's, it's true to the building and to Glasgow that you know, it is now this cultural hub bringing different things together. The partnership offer at Kelvin Hall I think is wonderful. It's such a unique combination of partners, but I think at the end of the day we're going to have a really fabulous offer for the public. There will be that crossover between leisure, culture, heritage is something that's really special. Actually now we've got a chance to make a community here. The National Library is obviously one of Scotland's largest libraries. It's also a leading uh, European research library and actually is responsible for capturing the memory of Scotland. Um, that's about collecting Scotland's memory are from the earliest books right through to the modern digital collections. So as custodians of 24 million items, we're very excited about this new offer in Kelvin Hall. First of all, we've got the Moving Image Archive, and that's 100 years of recorded film in Scotland. It's a unique collection, we're very excited that will be available for here at Kelvin Hall. But it is, of course, more than the Moving Image Archive. It's about demonstrating the National Library is increasing a digital library and we'll be offering a very extensive range of digital resources that people can access. Because at the moment all we have out at Hillington Park is um, a corner of a room with a video set up and one or two people can book in. But this, this amazing facility will be able to hold many, many more people that can come in and see the content and use it and enjoy it. Because there'll be things on site here that people can only see currently in Edinburgh. We'll have the moving image collections as a, as a prime focus too. You'll be able to see digital collections from the National Library. So it really opens up the collections for people to come and see and enjoy. Um, it's going to be amazing actually. Um, we're going to be able to provide more access to more digital film collections and also provide access to the analogue tape and DVD collections too, as well as our paper archive collections which represent cinema history and film history. Moving to Kelvin Hall is going to be amazing. We're going to be part of a learning hub in Glasgow. It's going to take us closer to our users so that we know them better and understand their needs, but it's also going to ensure that we reach new audiences, more diverse audiences. It really is their National Library of Scotland and we want to be there to serve them. Um, we're going to be here for a really diverse range of users, researchers, producers, families, community groups, schools. Um, there's not really a limit to who we want to engage with now and I think that's going to be a real transformation for the National Library of Scotland. I think Kelvin Hall is about access for everyone. I think that's really crucial in all its different offers and I think for the National Library we're very keen that the maximum number of people come up and take that offer, make use of our facilities, learn about what the National Library of Scotland has to offer and enjoy the collections for whatever it's research, learning or, or pure fun.